I'm Dan Drake. This is Front Up on Geno TV and Channel 99. Our guest is Neil Patterson, the chairman of the Land Bank. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for Congratula inviting me. Congratulations on your elevation to the exalted as chairman. I I'm not sure <laughs> if that's the right word, but <coughs> I'm enjoying it. It's yeah. an enormous amount of work. The uh, Land Bank has been in the news for a couple of things. One has been the, the purchase of the land on Easy Street, the Dealey property. Yep. Um, is that going to complete the effort down on, in there? Or? Well, for the present time, yes. yes. Uh, we've uh, engaged uh, uh, an ar landscape architect mm. who's we're actually going to HDC next week to present a plan, um, mm. which is we it's gone through many uh, evolutions and I think we're really close mm -hmm. and it's going to be something that we would be very proud of when it's done. Um, it's the same landscape architect who did the battery park in Brooklyn, New York. Oh really? It's a 17 acre park mm -hmm. and it's designed to be flooded occasionally by salt water. So That's probably a good idea. Well, I think uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, after you spend over 10 million dollars to uh, buy some real estate yeah. and it's forever right. which is you know uh, the price you know you have to take a deep breath sometimes um, one of the concerns that uh, you or somebody expressed when mm. when uh, the, the transaction was announced was that there'd be some pushback on the price have you gotten much what well, it was 4.6 4. 4. million yeah 4.5 4.5 4. <coughs> and uh, it was actually the first property we got most pushback on and it, that wasn't a, you know, most of our decisions on the board are unanimous. Mm -hmm. The first one wasn't. It was a, a three-two right. vote throughout. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I respect democracy and right. you know majority rules. And uh, we've moved forward. And uh, I think twenty years from now, people will say, "What a visionary buy!" Mm -hmm. well, I can only hope if I'm around to hear it. Are there also plans to do more on Washington Street if pro other properties there become available or is it, uh, are you pretty much done there? For the time being, um, <coughs> we have right of first refusal on a couple of, pro couple of properties mm -hmm. and we would look at those closely if they came up. Mm -hmm. um, it, nowadays it seems like we, we're buying just two or three properties over a year. Mm -hmm. uh, we recently bought the Reyes property on Pulpus Road which was 11 acres and it adjoins properties we already own and conservation mm -hmm. properties. I'm, sort of, I'm trying to bring my perspective is on the board to try and have some more criteria for what we buy and it, mm. ha it has to, re to relate. Waterfront is a major priority right. um, and it, but other properties have to relate to existing properties mm -hmm. so um, and, and that seems pretty agreeable. So me. adding on to yeah, something yeah. That, you or, that you or somebody else already has that's in open space. Yeah, unless on a special case it's, it's there's something that you really really mm -hmm. feel that should be preserved forever, and um, but that's uh, that's more that's the exception rather than the rule. But back to Easy Street, that that yeah. house will be removed, presumably removed and recycled. recycled. It's, it's quite Somewhere. historical, and mm -hmm. it's it's not a difficult one to move. I think you can cut mm -hmm. it in half and move mm -hmm. it very easily. Mm -hmm. and we're already looking. No, no basement. No, no <laughs> basement. No, no, no. and uh, you know, it, it's you know we really should try to recycle these things. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes. I mean, the Reyes house is, is condemned. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, there are animals living in it, mm -hmm. and who knows what else. But, uh, but this one is, is, is beautiful inside, mm -hmm. and it's full of history. And the, the family really wanted us to preserve it. So we, we will. We've, got, we've actually got HTC permission to move it. Good. So that's good. I'm good. pleased about that. The other matter that was in the news was petrol landing. And yes, I understand petrol that's landing. somewhat controversial, um, at least with <coughs> the neighbors. Yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's not controversial to me and the board. Right, I mean, right. we've owned this property for 13 years. It was a dock mm -hmm. and used s by Stevie Walker before that. Mm -hmm. And it was always our intention to enhance the use for the public. When you pay $4.1 million 13 years ago, that's a lot of money. It is. And we've made many, many concessions. We've reduced the size of the dock. We've left the stone. We've minim you know, there's no on-site parking. Mm -hmm. um, there's you know, but the only con the, the ultimate concession we can make is we're not going to do anything. And then, the w but I mean, the threat of legal action, mm. it is what it is. I mean, yeah. I, I feel very strongly that our role is to enhance public access, and <coughs> this is not commercial at all. Mm -hmm. And a floating dock, a seasonal floating dock, I don't see what's wrong with that. But if you live down there, it's quiet now. I, I totally recognize. Uh, well, one of the, one, I know one of the things that. Um, 
I was involved in a few years ago was the Shellfish Association yeah. was very interested in it. Yeah. I remember, remember those discussions mm. uh, when uh, and some of the, the fishermen would love to have it as a place to unload. I mean, yeah. it doesn't seem unreasonable. And in, in, it does in, not in November, seem. December, yeah. January, I, I mean, so on. Uh, the, the, the neighbor who's been most reasonable, um, and I hope you'll forgive me for mentioning him, is Mickey Rowland, mm -hmm. who's been really reasonable and really and we've really gone out of our way to try and accommodate him. And he has a, he has a much, he, I, I really empathize with him. And I re, we've re, as a board, we've bent over backwards mm -hmm. to try and, I hope he'd agree, we've really come back. I mean, the neighbors who are threatening to lawyer up, I would suggest if they maybe came up with a, enhancing the dinghy dock at the mm -hmm. town pier, mm -hmm. might be a better way of spending their money. But who am I to tell them what to do? It's right. a democracy again, and yeah. they can do what they want. But uh, I feel that that would be a positive move, you know, but we'll, we'll see how it develops. What else is going on? Well, we, you know, it's maintenance. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been doing a lot of road maintenance. Um, we maintain a lot of these dirt roads and uh, we just spent quite a bit of money last night doing, you know, we got a breakdown of that. Um, <coughs> we're, you know. It seems oxymoronic that dirt roads have to be maintained, but. It does, but, but you know, they sort of, the people, and, and of course, the nicer <laughs> they are, the faster people go, and right. then there's parking lots, and, um, you know, we, we're constantly, uh, in, in, you know, trying to enhance the, the basic three tenets mm. of our, of our act. I mean, we're talking about, we're, we're building, we're, we're, we've got a bid that we've accepted um, from Triumph Modular to build employee, a dormitory mm -hmm. at my, at my Comet. And that may yet again, there is apparently rumors of a neighbor who might be yep, upset Upset, and again, not in my backyard. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely allowed under the act. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the paragraph on golf is, is very short right. and it allows all kinds of use. And we're only, the two other golf courses out here have housing. housing. And if you, I mean, there's an employee sh housing shortage. Right. And, uh, if we're going to main, maintain my comet as present standard, we need employee housing. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got on the board, I think we were paying $40,000 a year. For Last year, for rentals. Just rentals for employees. We're up to one hundred and seventy or $180,000 now. Mm -hmm. Now, some of that we get back. Right. But at a certain point, you know, we have... Yeah, it's enough. You, you know, H2B visa people coming in, and we, we've got to put them somewhere. Right. And we've got a very strong plan. The neighbors are worried about the noise and mm -hmm. everything else, but we've got a very strong plan in place, and our mm -hmm. Al Costas and, and Sean Oberly are going to be all over it. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. and we have the money to do it. We've, we've set aside money mm -hmm. for capital improvements. And uh, While we're on the subject of Maya Comet, what's happened? What's the, has the clubhouse a dead issue at this point, or is it still um, simmering? I'd let's just say this, th th it's, it's not, the appetite for a new clubhouse is somewhat diminished. The, the fiscal realities, mm -hmm. you know, we're a municipality, we're paying prevailing wage, everything. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's a, me I'm not going to throw a number out there, but mm -hmm. it's many millions of dollars. Right. Um, I mean, one thought I had was just put a modular, new modular kitchen on the back, mm -hmm. because the kitchen's really inadequate. And uh, it's a very popular place for local people. It's right. open year round. Um, and Al does a great job running it. Um, he and I have our differences mm -hmm. sometimes, but I think that's mm -hmm. normal. Uh, but he, he's, uh, he's a Nantucketer, a, a Vietnam vet, mm -hmm. um, and um, he's lived his whole life on Nantucket. And I, I as I say, he, he, he really cares about it. He's there at 4.30 mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, he gets paid for that, right. but he cares. He really cares. And, and, and he does a great <laughs> job with, you know, when there's w funerals mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, he, 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 it, it's, it's a sort of local destination, mm -hmm. so. And Syascanset Golf, the old golf course. Ooh, well, is, we're, is that we're worked we're out or is it? Yeah, it has worked out really pit. well. No, no, <laughs> we're, we're, we're up uh, $40,000 more than last year at this stage. Mm -hmm. There was a, a one hour wait yesterday to, to play. Um, we're about to get our liquor license and we will be serving canned wine, which I've never had in my life. <laughs> and I'm, I'm assured by uh, our sommelier Al that <laughs> it's delicious, but the proof's in the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> We're having beer in bottles and cans too, because mm. we don't have a kitchen there. Right. So we, but it's, it's beautiful. The, the renovation, uh, Jesse Bell, our assistant director, really took it mm. under her wing and it's fantastic. I mean, it, it, it's, 
a lot of people donated artwork mm -hmm. and um, the Coffin family donated everything they had because when they bought it they took everything out of right. there because it belonged to them mm -hmm. and but they donated it back to us um, once it was renovated mm -hmm. and uh, it's you, have you been out there no I haven't it's well worth going yeah. out in a, in a, maybe in a week you can have a, a glass of canned wine and sit or a on can the deck. Of a can of canned wine. <laughs> well, I, I'm deeply skeptical about it, but um, uh, I, it's more like oh, I can box tease wine, it. canned wine. I, you know. I know box wine was not meant to be the higher standard, but mm -hmm. I, Al assures me, and I can only wait and see. Yeah. But, but so no, that's going really well. It's 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 never going to make mm -hmm. any money, mm -hmm. but it's it's either, if we hadn't if we, if we didn't purchase it in conjunction with the Sconset Trust. It'd probably be a twenty or thirty lot subdivision, right. and uh, it's it, it you know dates from eighteen ninety eight or something like that. So uh, um, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, it, it's run well, low key, and uh, so no, the Al, Al Costa, uh, De Costa runs that too. Right? He runs it in conjunction, yeah. and uh, he's a, a good staff, and they're very loyal to it's him. Not De Costa, uh, it's Al Costa. Al sorry. Costa. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, you're thinking of our previous selectman, yeah. who uh, I. I, I, I he did a lot of work for the mm. island and mm. community. So mm. he's, um, uh, I, I'm going to jump into the one thing I have to finish um, is in my tenure of the being on the fire station committee, which is the other hat I'm wearing right. at the moment. And I can see the light at the end of the tunnel in, in terms of my service. Mm. I've been on this committee for eight years now. Um, well, we talked about that quite a few years ago. We <laughs> did. We did. And, and I've been through since I've, I've volunteered in the fire department for 15 or 16 mm -hmm. years now. Um, it's something I felt really strongly about, that this community needs a modern facility. Mm -hmm. And we were so close last year, and for the want of $142,000, mm -hmm. we didn't get it. Right. It's water under the bridge. Um, so I'm that's going a, to... That's a remarkably uh, generous attitude. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> it is. It is. I mean, I, if I <laughs> want to say what I really but it's, yeah. that's not. I've always felt when you're in a po political discussion, insulting people no, that's is true. counterproductive. Yeah. We need everybody on the same side, and you know, one day, everybody's sadly probably a fact of life. We're all going to need an ambulance at some point, right. and whether it's in a 16 million, 18 million, or 20 million dollar mm -hmm. facility. You just want it there. Yeah, that's right. And the visitors who pay 86% of our taxes would, with due respect to them, are paying for mm. a large proportion of it. That's right. And, uh, but anyway, I'm going to go and I'm going to speak on it in favor of it at town meeting in the fall. And what's, the, what's the price tag up to now? Do you know? No, we haven't had the final numbers. But, I, you know, we're, it's, it's it, between big business in Massachusetts and the unions, it's we're paying top dollar top dollar top dollar and uh, right. that's the that's the political reality of it and uh, could be 19 could be 20 I, it's really hard mm. to say but we were, I think we were at 18 and um, modular doesn't work and right. we there, were, there already been bid protests filed so you know but at, after that time meeting I'm resigning as I'm now chair of it I've mm -hmm. through attrition I've made it to the top but if it doesn't pass, I'm the wrong mm. person, and I've given it my best mm. shot, and then someone else can would should have to give it a go. And it's not a threat. It's just, it's just. I, I'm I'm rallying. You're done. I'm You're do done. <laughs> yeah, I, but it's something I feel really strongly about, and uh, and I'm hoping that mm. the voters. Will, well, will I hope they do, and then I hope the the bids come in. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the other side of it. I mean, that, that's the, the it's sort of I mean, the irony is that the sewer bid. Yeah, came in so low. Yes, exactly. Compa compared to the estimate, I mean, really low. I mean, the modular bid for the fire station came in at forty thousand dollars less. I mean, and and, uh. and and a bid protest, and mm. the attorney general contacting us saying this is or Libby saying this isn't going to work. You, you know, yeah. it was dead in the water. Um, so, but hopefully, we've got a plan. We paid for the plan. Mm -hmm. We it's been gone over. I don't know how many times with a tooth comb trying to shrink it. And we just don't want to make the mistake we did last time, where they moved into Pleasant Street. It was at capacity the day they moved in. Right. And that's 1980. And I came in 1979. I still remember mm -hmm. the engines leaving where the, the police old, station. Yeah. The old and fire. times have moved on. And there's a real expectation that people who spend millions of dollars building houses here that they're going to get uh, uh, 
a, a level of service mm. that they get in the rest of the Commonwealth. Mm. And, and we're the only town still running basic life saving, which is just scoop and run. And mm. the, the, the department does a tremendous job with scoop, what they have. Scoop and run. Well, I'm sorry, maybe that's. <laughs> <laughs> there's many things they do, and I've been the recipient of fantastic service, and they get saved my life on one incident. Mm. And. Uh, you know, I, I will say nothing bad. No, I know. I just thought you it know. was a funny, <laughs> funny well, way of putting it. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Perhaps, so, perhaps that was uh, <laughs> you know, a slip up there. <laughs> Back, uh, well, hopefully it will pass at town meeting. I yep. guess I'm yep. I showing my bias as well. But right. But uh, it's about time. It, yeah, it really time, is. Time to stop fooling around, basically, and get it done. Exactly. Uh, otherwise, you know, there's the, you know, female firefighter, Liz Shannon lots of service there I mean is it fair to ask her you know uh -huh. th doesn't even have her own bathroom you know and I mean th in this day and age you know right it, it really is something that town should step up to the plate well it's not really yeah I mean okay they know they want it yeah enough said yeah. enough said back to the land bank um, are there any from the land bank's perspective the concert any any sort of conservation organizations perspective there aren't any really large parcels left that, that you have interest in, or are there well, still Well, there some? are, there are. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't want to sort of tip my hand and right. name them. No, I'm, uh, I'm not asking you to. No. Yeah, oh, yes, definitely. It still are, surprisingly. Um, but, you know, the, the, the turnover in sales is so much higher. Mm. You know, it's these million-dollar houses that are funny. I mean, I think we're, you know, this year we're projected to 16 or $18 million. Um, so we yeah. definitely have money to spend. And... You know, we're also become a target of other very worthy causes, uh, looking to use some of that money. Right. And unfortunately, you know, I, on one of them was saying, "Well, we would like one percent," and I right. said, well, "That's great." And I said, "Well, you can take half our debt then, because." Right. And this person didn't wasn't aware of the debt, and I mm. said, "Well, when I got on the board, it was thirty three million. It's down to eighteen now." And it's still there. It's it's it a, a debt is off. a debt. Yeah. It has to be paid off. And if you take away half our percentage, you know, one, we're down to one. We're we're out of business. Right. We we have a a staff of three people mm -hmm. who do a fantastic mm -hmm. job maintaining over three thousand acres. One last question. Yes. The wood property has that been transferred <sighs> to the land bank yet? That is part of the grand swap with the town, and it has been. Um, it apparently is slowly this is, a, this is the property out of Vatican Harbor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I can't yeah. wait to get it. It's yeah. been, I mean, from my tenure on the board of seven plus mm -hmm. years now, it's meant to have been transferred for seven years. Right. It's, uh, um, I'm told it may happen this year. And I'm, I'm, I'm almost ready to put a dollar up on the wall in the land bank office to see if anyone will take my bet. I but won't. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Patterson, thank you so thank much. You, Eric, nice thank you, Eric. Nice to see you. Good to see you.